Hey y'all, it's Kenya from craftcadecreations.blogspot.com and I thought that I would share a quick and easy video with you all showcasing the Gazelle and Sure Cuts a Lot 4. I have the older Gazelle and I do not have the three point registration. So what I'm doing here is just showing you that it can be done with the older ones that were produced prior to September 11, 2000. September of 2011. So what I did here was change my mat from 12 to, by 12 to an eight and a half by 11 mat because it seemed to work better there. And I just took the lips that's in the library and put them on the mat and resized them. So then what you will do is go to your cutter and you will see this screen pop up and I am going to print, click the print button. And what I'm doing now is just waiting for my car stock to print. And then you will see me um, show you that it printed and it came up with the three point registration. Now again, I have the older Gazelle, which does not have a three point registration. And while this process with the older ones isn't perfect, it did a pretty good job considering that it is considered old technology. So what you will see in the screen is me manipulating the blade housing in the program and I don't have a laser but I placed it where it should be which is right behind the blade if you have a gazelle you will see the blade housing and it's like a cylinder type of mechanism right behind it and that is where you would consider where the laser the optical eye would be so basically I'm just here loading my mat in that lower right hand corner and then I will start manipulating the blade housing unit and so I'm just getting it lined up with the registration marks and I'm doing the very first one now and you will just see the mat moving slightly until I get it lined up to where I think it needs to be which is right in the center of those registration marks and then once I'm done with that, instead of hitting next, I'm just going to click the middle and then you will see the blade housing go over to the next registration mark. Now, typically it should go exactly to where you want it to cut. And then you will do the same thing for the third registration mark. I had to work with it a little bit because it was slightly off and I still have to fine tune it. So I hit cut and then what you will see is that the machine did a decent job. It's not perfect, but again, I don't have the three point registration. I only have one. And that is one of the advantages of having sure cuts a lot is it kind of overrode the technology, so to speak. So instead of spending the $80, I think it is to upgrade the motherboard to get the three point registration, it, I already had the program. I just upgraded. But if you don't, then it's just the $59 and you save yourself time and money to be able to do a print and cut. For me, it's not that important because I don't do a lot of print and cuts, but I am happy to know that if I need it, I just have to tweak it a little bit. As you can see, it's a little white areas there, but it's not that bad. So if I can fine tune it, I can get it to work. And I thank you so much for watching. You all have a wonderful day.